We made it. We're in St. Kitts. We're staying at the Park Hyatt Hotel. Oh my god, look at that. Are you kidding? Sorry, it's so humid. My camera keeps fogging. Welcome to St. Kitts. This is so stunning. I can't even tell you guys. Like, and our room is so pretty. We have like a little balcony here. We have a little sitting area. And then when you walk in, this is like our fridge area. <laughs> oh, it did. Anyway, this is our room. We have a TV, a little ledge for like stuff. The room's already a mess because we got in last night like pretty late. But we have a cute little like day bed situation. This is our bed. We have a king size bed. I'm obsessed with these sconces. I think they're so pretty. I love them. And then through here we have bath double vanity so that Rob and I each have our own station which is a kind of essential and we need this when we move um, so I have my own and then he has his own and then like that's the shower we have like a huge beautiful shower oh my god what mm -hmm. is that a coffee thing yeah yeah that's gonna happen and then oh, this man. is like just the bath room and we also have this little closet area which is so nice to have because i'm gonna leave like my clothes in here and there's like a steamer and stuff like that so um there's that and rob just discovered that we have the cutest setup ever that's so nice we didn't open this yet we just assumed it was the fridge but we didn't really we didn't really check it out yet Oh, coffee, I need coffee. All right, so I'm not gonna show you guys me just yet because we look crazy because we just woke up, but also Rob stole this from the restaurant last night. Maybe I supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Borrowed. It is super cute. My um, sauce for the mahi-mahi I ordered came in that. I thought it was adorable, but. I am so excited. We just woke up a little bit ago and we're gonna go to the gym because they're supposed to have a really really nice gym here but um yeah last night we spent thanksgiving with rob's sister who lives here and then her boyfriend's family lives on the island so they had us over it was really nice but i didn't want to bring the camera out with people us meeting for the first time so um yeah we went to their house it was beautiful she made all the thanksgiving things and we were there pretty late we got back and we were exhausted so we just kind of passed out but we're gonna head to do a quick little workout <laughs> so rob and i both really need to like get it together we've just been drinking like rum and eating <laughs> all day every day since we've gotten here so that's the plan i'm just wearing this nike hoodie this aloe cropped sports bra and then the matching shorts that go with the sports bra they're all aloe and then my sweatshirt's obviously nike so I'm trying to get this one out <laughs> ready to go work out
here for an hour because Rob's sister is in school right now and she is gonna get out like in the next like 30 minutes so we're all gonna meet at the beach because we haven't been to the beach yet we've just been like hanging out at the pool at the um, Park Hyatt in St. Kitts so we're gonna like explore some of the island side which I'm so excited about like we've driven around a little bit but not much like we haven't seen a, a whole lot of it so she's gonna kind of like little tour. So you just have to remember to drive on the left side. Yeah, you have to drive on the left side here. Which we had to do in Jamaica too, so it's not terrible. And the roads here are much better than Jamaica, so that's a plus. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear me, but highly recommend so far St. Kitts. Stunning. Stunning. And the food has been amazing. We've done nothing but eat and drink rum since we've gotten here. So that's how we worked out this evening because I was like, we <laughs> we need to be somewhat healthy while we're here, like a little bit. So, and the gym is so nice, like wouldn't you say? Very nice. Yeah, they have a great gym. We're just gonna hang out. We're in a tan. I have my computer like hiding under this blanket because it's so hot and I don't want it to like overheat. So that's what we're doing. And then we'll see you guys at the beach. I'm excited to show you the beaches here. But you're not in the line. Same. We need a taller car. I'm not getting the footage I need. There you go. So this is Sunset Beach. 
and this is where we came today to lay out. But if you walk all the way down past where you park, there's like a really cool little bungalow where you can eat and the food is phenomenal. And they have like pina coladas that are on ice and not uh, frozen. But you gotta like walk down the beach, down probably like a quarter of a mile. It's really not that bad. But this view is unreal. And Rob and I are gonna try to find a spot to watch sunset. We were gonna watch it here, but I think we're gonna start heading back towards our hotel. But right now, like if you want a place to watch sunset, the sun is setting like right here. So it would go down. You would have like such an amazing view for sunset. So also there's a place right over here where you park all the way at the end of, um, I forget the name. I'll put, I'll put the name below but there's a place like right where this palm tree is and they have the most amazing rum punch. So if you come here, definitely park and then just come straight out here and get a rum punch. It is phenomenal. It's like spiced rum. I mean, it would be perfect for you to get married here, honestly. Like, why not?
sister's friend's boat today which will be really exciting and so I'm pumped for that but um, yesterday we went to Nevis which is another island right by St. Kitts you can just take like a boat over it's not even 10 minutes I don't think to get there and we went around Nevis and honestly like it was such a cool experience if you come to St. Kitts highly recommend going so if you go to Sunshine's, the drink that you need to get is called a Killer Bee. That's what they're known for. They won't tell you what's in it, but it tastes great. And they're definitely very strong. Like I had two and Rob and his sister had three and all of us were like, okay, we need to drink a lot of water <laughs> before we leave here because we were all a little tipsy. But yeah, it was such a great time. If you have the opportunity to like rent a Wrangler or some kind of like off-roading vehicle over there, um, you can ask your hotel or if you know someone who lives here, um, there are people on Nevis who have like rental offerings for the day. We did a Wrangler for the full day for like 60 bucks um, US dollars. So that was perfect. We got to go everywhere we wanted to go and yeah highly recommend. Like you have to go to Nevis at least like one day and like don't be shy like go into places a lot of the stores just look like little like houses like they look like people's like homes but they will have little signs outside so there's also a man who does these incredible carvings of animals i know he does mahogany wood and then i don't remember the other what he does but he's actually deaf and so he just like signs to you um and it was just such a cool experience and he's just so talented like I we bought two things from him because we just fell in love with everything he was making <laughs> but what was I gonna say oh we wanted to go to bananas which is another restaurant we were gonna go for dinner that's a nicer restaurant so I would suggest if you're going there to bring um, a change of clothes from your daytime clothes to your nighttime clothes just bring like a sundress or if you're a guy just wear some like trousers like button down shirt but they have bands, apparently they have really good food, and we did not go because of timing, and then we also found out that they were closed, but highly recommend that as well. All of the locals told us to go there. They said it was a great restaurant, and I think the other good one for dinner is called Luca's. I'll double check with Rebecca, and if I'm wrong, I'll um, correct it down below, but I'm pretty sure it's called Luca's, so 
a lot of really good food, a lot of really cute places, and it was just such a fun day. We really, really enjoyed ourselves, and we got home really late. We took the last boat back, which is at 10.15, and I can't even believe that we were over there that long, because we got over there around like 12.30. So we were there pretty much the whole day. But Rob is downstairs at the gift shop because he's gonna see if we can get a little something for his sister as like a thank you for taking us around while we were here. Um, she is in vet school, so she's very busy and it was just really special to us that she was kind of fitting us in around like her schedule and like really prioritizing spending time with us while we're here. So we want to get her like something like cute and little just as like a thank you from here and we want to get a couple of gifts for like family if we find something cute so he's downstairs doing that right now and i'm just going to finish getting ready because i'm obviously just wearing like what i'm going to wear to go hiking today so that's the plan i'm sad that today's the last day <laughs> but it was an amazing experience and I'm so happy that we came and that we got to visit her while she's here. So that's the plus side, that's what matters. And I'm not ready to go back to New York weather. But thankfully, we don't need till tomorrow evening. So I'm gonna soak it all in and try to get as much of a tan as I possibly can before I get on that plane. <laughs> Thank you. 